So in this video, we are going to learn how to send WhatsApp messages on new form submission. Now suppose guys, you have created an online form using Jot form or any other online form building application. Now you want that whenever you receive a new form submission, a new response on that form, you want to send them a WhatsApp message to the user who has submitted the form. Now guys, let me tell you, you can completely automate this process. So the trigger of this automation will be getting a new response in the form on Jot form. An action will be sending the WhatsApp message to the same user using Interact automatically. Now guys, how you can set up this automation? To know this, you have to come with me to my screen. So as you can see, here we are on PabliConnect's dashboard. Now to reach this dashboard, you will get a free sign up link of PabliConnect in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can create your free PabliConnect account in just two minutes. And after reaching to this dashboard, just click on create workflow and give this workflow a name. For example, I would like to name a workflow as Jot form to interact. And after naming the workflow, just click on create. Now you can see that a workflow is open over here. And in this workflow, we have two different windows. First one is the trigger window and second one is the action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's begin with our trigger window. So the idea here is first we have to connect the form which we have created using job form with Pabli Connect so that every time we receive a response or form submission in that particular form automatically that form submission data should also be received inside Pabli Connect. And after that using Pabli Connect we are going to send those details to interact. And using Interact, we are going to send a WhatsApp message to the same user who has submitted the form. That too automatically. So how it is done? Let's see. Now here in Trigger window, in Choose App, search for Jot Form. Just select it. And then in Trigger Event from the drop-down, select New Response as the Trigger Event. After selecting a Trigger Event, Pabli Connect gave us a webhook URL. And we are going to use this webhook URL to connect our form from Jot Form with Pabli Connect. How it is done? You just have to follow the help text given below over here. Copy this webhook URL from here and go to the form which you have created in Jot form. So this is the form, this is the contact form, a simple form which I have created for this video. And then instead of this, you can use any form. You just have to open, create the form and open the form in the edit mode. After opening it, just go to the settings of that form and from the left side, just go to the integration section. After coming to this integration page, here we just have to search for webhook. Just search for webhook and select it. After selecting webhook, here it is asking us to add the webhook URL. And here in this field guys, we have to paste the same webhook URL which we have copied from Pabli Connect. Just copy it from here and paste it over here. And then click on this complete integration button. And now we can see that we have successfully added this webhook URL on our Jot form. This means this form and public connect are now connected. Every time we are going to receive a, a submission, a response in this form, automatically that form submission data will also be received inside public connect workflow. And after this, we are going to do the same. We are going to make a test submission in this form. Just go to the publish section and copy the link of this form and paste it in a new tab. So here you can see that this form is open in front of us. And now here guys, we are going to enter the details of a new user. For example, demo user, this is the name of the person, this is the email address and then let's enter the mobile number as well. After entering the phone number, just select the gender and click on submit. So just now we have entered the details of a dummy user in this form and made the submission. And because we have connected this form with Pabli Connect using the webhook URL, we will see this same form submission data will also be received inside Pabli Connect. So let's go to Public Connect and yes guys, here you can see that just now we have received this response and in this response, you can see the same details of the form submission. You can see the same last name of the user, same first name, then here you can see the same email address, same phone number and the same gender. This means the response of Jot form submission is now received inside Public Connect. So the step one of setting up this automation is completed. Now after this, what we have to do? we have to move to step two. And in step two, we just have to send all of these details to Interact so that using Interact, we can send a WhatsApp message to the same user who has just now submitted the form. 
that too automatically. So guys, to do this, just scroll down, come to our action window and here in choose app, search for interact. Just select it. And then in action event from the drop down, select send WhatsApp template message as the action event. Click on connect and select add new connection. Now here guys, we have to connect our interact account with Powerly Connect. And to make this connection, we have to enter the secret key of our interact account. Now here you must be thinking how you can get this secret key. So to get it, just go to your interact account from the left sidebar, just go to this gear option of settings and click on this settings page. After coming to the settings page, click on developer settings. And here you can see the secret key of your interact account. Just copy the secret key from here, go to Pavli connect and paste it over here. And after pasting this, just click on save. And you can see that our interact account will get connected with Pavli connect. After making this connection, the first thing it asks us is the country code, phone number and full phone number. So here guys, we have two different options to add the mobile number, the phone number of the user to whom we want to send the WhatsApp message. Either we can enter the plus sign and the country code in a different field and the 10 digits mobile number into a different field. But in case you have a complete response of a full phone number with country code and mobile number, you can enter this complete phone number in this full phone number field. Either you have to do this or do this. You just have to enter the any one of these. You can enter the country code and phone number in different responses or you can enter the full phone number in this single response. So here guys, we have received the full phone number from jot form responses. So we are going to map the same response of full phone number over here. And guys, the process of mapping is extremely simple. Just click on this field and in the drop down, you can see a list of all the responses which we have received from jot form. And from jot form responses, select this response of full phone number and it will be mapped over here. So whatever mobile number the user is going to enter in the form submission on the same mobile number, we are going to send the WhatsApp message. After this, in the next field, it asks us template code name. So here guys, you must be thinking, what is this template code name? So here to send WhatsApp messages using interact first, we have to create a template of the message in our interact account. And then we have to get that template approved. And it is most likely possible that you may have created multiple templates of WhatsApp messages in your interact account. So out of all of those, which is the template we want to use in this automation workflow to send WhatsApp message, we have to enter the template code name of that particular template. And to get it, you just have to open the template in your interact account. Just go to the template section. And for example, here, this is the template welcome message, which we are going to use in this video. So after opening your template here in the URL section, after template slash and before slash view, this is your template code name. Just copy this template code name of the specific template from here and go to Pavli connect and paste it over here. After entering the code name, the next thing it has, it asks us is language code. So I have created this template in English. So I will be entering the language code of English over here. But if you have created your template and interact in multiple languages, you have to enter that out of all of them in which particular language you want to send this WhatsApp message, this template. So here I've entered in English, the language code for English, EN, small EN. And you can basically enter the language code for any language which for which you have created template in interact. Then after this, it is asking us header value. Now guys here in interact while creating the template, you also have an option to add some kind of image, video or document as well with the WhatsApp message. Like with this message, you can also send these files as well, like image file, video file or document. So if you have created a template where you are adding some any kind of file, any kind of headers, then here you can mention the link, the URL of the file, which you want to send. For example, if I create a template with the image as an header, then here in this header value, I will be entering the link, the URL of the image, which I want to send with the WhatsApp message. Right now in this template, I have not added any kind of headers. So we can just ignore this field for now. Then after this, it is asking us body variable value. Now, when you will come to this body of this WhatsApp message, which I have created in this template, here you can see that in this body of the message, you will see after high, I have added a number. After high, I have added one in double curly braces. And here you can see I have written two in double curly braces. Now here you must be thinking, what are these numbers? Why I have added this? So here after high, I wanted to mention the name of the user, name of the person who has submitted the form. 
but the name of the person will be keep on changing for every new form submission every time we will get a new user this means the name of the user is a dynamic text it's a variable which will be keep on changing and to add this kind of variable text in our template message we add numbers in double curly braces and the text in place of these numbers can be entered inside pavli connect in this body variable value field so as i told you after hi i wanted to mention the name of the person who has submitted the form so here we are going to map the response of the name of the person just click here and from the drop down from jot form responses select the response of post name of the user and map it over here now after this here in our template we have added another variable the variable 2 and to add the text in place of this variable 2 in this body variable value field after mapping the value for post variable just add a comma and enter whatever text you want to enter either you can map the data or you can manually enter the static data as well for example i want to add pavli over here for each and every message so i have manually added pavli over here that will be static it won't change for any of the message then in the next field it is asking us position of cta button so here in the interact while creating the template you also have an option to create some kind of buttons dynamic buttons on clicking on which you can redirect the user to a specific url as well or a dynamic one so if you have created any kind of call to action button cta buttons then you can select the position of those buttons over here in the drop down here you have two positions zero or one so you can select either of the position according to your requirement and if you are adding any kind of dynamic url you can enter the value of the variable of the dynamic url as well in this particular field so here guys i have not added any kind of buttons in my template message that is why i am just ignoring these two fields and we will click on save and send test request after clicking on save and send test request here you can see that we have received this response and in this response seems to be a positive response to us this response shows that the message template which you have selected with the variable values which we have entered from form submission with the same details a whatsapp message is sent to the same user who has submitted the form so let's check the whatsapp account and yes guys here you can see that just now a whatsapp message is sent to the same number which the, we have added while making the form submission this message says hi demo means the same name which we have entered while submitting the form thank you for filling up the form welcome to pavli we are so lucky to have you if you need any support don't hesitate to reach out with questions we would love to hear from you best regards pavli so in this way you can see that this is the same template message and with the same variable values which we have added in our pavli connect workflow this means the automation workflow which we have created in this video is working perfectly fine and using this automation whenever we are going to receive a new response in jot form automatically a whatsapp message will be sent to the same user who has submitted the form using interact that too automatically now guys after setting up this automation we are just going to test this automation once in real time we will go to the same form and we will make another live submission so here test user this is the name of the person this is the email address and then this is the mobile number on which we are going to send the whatsapp message let's select the gender and click on submit and as we click on submit we will see we have received another form submission in jot form and instantly within seconds a whatsapp message is been sent to the same user's number with the same template message and the same details hi test mean the same name which we have just now entered while submitting the form and here you can see the same template message which we have created in interact so guys we have tested this automation and it is working absolutely fine so not just these applications you can connect plenty of other applications using pavli connect and one more important thing you will find the clone link of the same workflow in the description box below by clicking on that link you can clone the same workflow into your own pavli connect account and use this workflow for free also let me tell you pavli connect offers you a free plan and in this plan you will get some free tasks every month into your own pavli connect account so if you want to try and test this automation you can do it for absolutely free if you have any kind of doubts or queries, you can post them on forum.pavli.com. So if this video was helpful to you, you can obviously like this video, comment down to your suggestions and don't forget to share it with others. So guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you. Have a great day.